All right, so we are here working on uh, review activity 5-4, uh, and the activity is asking for us to uh, sketch missing lines here. So we're going to, uh, and it wants us to include any visible lines, hidden lines, and center lines that are needed. So we're going to uh, kind of start with this. Now, um, I'm going to do number one here, and I want, it to, I want you to be aware of uh, that ideas here behind orthographic projection and kind of what we uh, would project each line. So if you think about the front view, the side view, and the top view, they're all kind of boxed in. So just, uh, and notice the actual area of each view is boxed in. Boxed in. Now I'm going to kind of, I'm doing these kind of dark right now just so you can see them but in reality these would be very very light faint construction lines now as we work on these activities and try to train our brain and how to see this we need to realize that every time we see an intersection point in one of the view something is going to happen in the other views so in this case, uh, I see an intersection point right here, the intersection between this horizontal line and this angled line right here. So I need to project that over into the side view. Now I'm going to kind of do this nice and light. We'll just project this over a real faint line so that you can barely see it. And then uh, if I'm projecting over and projecting that point over this way, I also need to project it up. So we'll go ahead and uh, project that up. Well, lo and behold, when we project that up, we see that that point here in the front view aligns and correlates with the line that we see in the top view. And the same thing over here as well. But we don't uh, have a line that's represented from here. So we also have this uh, intersection point. So we're going to project that line up and this intersection point here will be projected up as well. So so now in looking at that, when we are projected up that way, now we can go back and say, okay, well, I know then that I'm going to have a, a solid object line right here. And I also know that I'm going to have a solid object line right here, okay, in those two views. And that's kind of this surface right here and this surface right here are going to be inclined, exactly what we see. Now in this isometric view over here, we don't see this one because this top line right here, or this bottom line here, is kind of hidden somewhere behind that line in the isometric view. But we can kind of see how that kind of comes back there with the way it's projected over. And of course, down on our front view, uh, this is just simply being projected over. And now, uh, since this is not shown, it, we don't see that when we're first looking here at our side view. It's back here behind that, so it's hidden. So this is going to be then a hidden line right there. And that would be the way we answer uh, number one on this particular problem.